Hi guys and welcome again to my kitchen. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you a quick meal. You can have it for breakfast or for lunch or even for dinner. It's that light and it's that quick. Here I'm going to make a tuna dip with naan bread. So there you see my naan bread. I have two naans that I'm going to be using today. That was my butter, my anchor butter. This is my tuna that I'm going to cook up in seasoning and make a sauce out of it. This is my scotch bonnet pepper, my onions diced up, kind of small to medium because this is what I'm going to use to cook up my tuna. And of course, this is the base of my sauce. This is sweet and spicy sauce with some relish that's actually in the sauce that makes it nice, nice and sweet, nice and spicy. The pepper is just right, not too much. Here I am, I'm cooking up my onions, sauteing my onions, adding my scotch bonnet pepper for additional flavor. I toss that around so it can saute. Then I go in with my tuna. I add my tuna and I toss that around in my onion and my scotch bonnet saute and allow that to saute also and guys of course you can add a little seasoning I added here a little bit of adobo I added a little bit of basil flakes yes it's going to in improve my flavor it's gonna make it nice and tasty I go ahead and I saute I continue to saute because I want the flavors to be incorporated I've added here a half a teaspoon of minced garlic and that will also bring out the flavor in your tuna because as we know tuna is fish and sometimes it's a little bit on the raw side some persons can't accommodate it can't stomach it so I add the garlic this is my sweet and spicy sauce that I've added and I'm stirring that around to incorporate it into the tuna and this will further enhance my flavor and of course I have a surprise ingredient for you today and I'm gonna go ahead and add that surprise ingredient and it's going to boost the flavor of my tuna dip yes here it is it's Alfredo sauce so my Alfredo mixture that I have and I'm adding that and it will change the color change the texture as well as change the flavor guys this is so tasty i wish you would be able to do this and give me feedback as to what the taste is like if you like it if you don't like it it's really tasty i enjoy creating meals like this because it's quick it's simple you can create it from what you have in your cupboard and in your fridge and it can be made into a quick 10 to 15 minute meal. It can be served for breakfast, can be served for lunch. It can even be served for dinner if you go light on dinner, which you really should. So here it is, I have poured it out. I'm adding some parsley flakes just to add for presentation. And I'm gonna also go ahead now and show you how I prepare my naan bread. I've heated my skillet, added the anchor butter, allowed it to melt. I'm going to stir that around a bit so that it melts all the way through. And this is the simplest thing you'll ever do in your kitchen. All you have to do is add that naan bread to your skillet and allow it to just toss in the butter for probably a minute on each side because it already has color, you're just pretty much heating it up and allowing it to have flavor. So after one minute passes, you can go ahead, flip it on the other side and do the same treatment. And it will pick up the flavor of the butter as well as gets a little softer. So you're ready to serve it with your meal. It's going to be so delicious. Here it is. I'm finished with it and I've presented it on my platter with my tuna dip and my naan bread. This is such an amazing, amazing dish. Quick and easy, easy to prepare. Thank you guys for watching. 
and see you next time.